Now here's a quick little, vi little video on wiring up a, a camper shell or a bed top. This one I have here, pretty standard one, has a dome light with a switch right here. And then there's of course a brake light so that you can be, be legal, right? So right up there is a red brake light. And you can see that I've got the two sets of wires coming out <clears throat> of this. So a set of, um, sort of positive negative from this light here and a sort of positive negative that goes out to the brake light. So these are what I want to wire up. And I've already got this little conduit here. I can thread them through and that should kind of keep them out of the way and protected so I can uh, wire them up into my truck's wiring. To connect the uh, wiring for the, the bed top or camper shell, I got just a standard um, trailer wiring so that I could um, connect and disconnect them if I ever need to take the, the top off. So these are the, the uh, four wire ones and I realize now there are ones that have just the two which is really all that you would need for this application but of course these will work as well although we, well, we really just need three of these uh, four wires here. We'll uh, need one for ground and the other two for the dome light and the uh, brake light. What you can see here is that I've tapped uh, two of these lines here into the, it's actually the, the brake light um, turning signal and also just rear tail lights. So I want one of these to come on just when the lights are on for that line to be hot and for the other line to be hot just when I brake. And so this is what I've done here. You can see I've done this green to green and this yellow goes to this other green, looks like green with a white stripe or something. So basically the, the lights I'm working with here are going to be the, uh, the tail, actually excuse me, not the turn signal, the turn signal is up here. So these are just the um, brake and tail light right here. And then the white wire I tapped into this return or negative or ground wire um, back here at the bottom. So these are the three wires that I'm using out of the four that are there and uh, that's where we're going to get the power going up to the lights on the camper shell. Okay now here's the dome light you can see there's a red and black wire from the light here and a red and black wire from the uh, the uh, stop light and so the black of course would be a uh, negative and you can see this um, same thing here red and black but this one from the stop light has a white uh, uh, we'll stripe on the black wire. So I've uh, fed these down through here and here's where I've spliced them. So because the um, the two black wires are negative I can actually put them together and so I've got this butt splice here and um, uh, heat shrinked it, heat shrunk it. Anyway so there it is to the white uh, wire which is the ground in the uh, trailer plug. There's the uh, trailer plug right there and um, then these are the two other wires um, and I uh, just sort of had to uh, look at them and figure out which one is which since they're both red but again the um, dome light right here uh, has been uh, spliced into uh, this uh, yellow wire here and then the uh, high uh, stop light has been spliced into the, uh, the green wire and so those are the three wires that I'm using and keeping them all nice and snug here um, in this uh, plastic uh, tubing or, or conduit uh, for the wires. So that's really what it should look like in there. And here's the dome light wired up so with the lights on there it is it comes on just what I'm looking for. So uh, this line here is hot only when the uh, trucks uh, headlights are turned on. So if I turn them off, this will go off here and of course have the manual switch. So even if I forget and leave it on, if I turn the headlights off, it will go off uh, on its own with, uh, with this wire getting, uh, having no power to it. So it doesn't stay on or drain my battery if, I, if I'm not knowing about it. Uh, so anyway, now I've got the dome light working. So there's my, uh, my covered set of wires. 
I've taped this up to keep it nice and secure. There it is running up there to the ceiling. And there's the dome light right there. And so what you can do here is with this um, nice little panel, I had to carve out a little bit of a hole right there, but then just kind of stash those wires down there. And that keeps them nice and out of the way. Of course, they're tucked down there and they head right on over to the, the tail light fixture right here. Now, this of course would work for really any truck to wire up the tail light. And, uh, you know, there may be other tutorials like this, but this is what it's like on the Tacoma. And uh, having this little compartment here where you can thread the, uh, the uh, wires for the trailer harness or, and all that through actually makes um, a nice little place for those to go. And then I guess um, there could be some way to uh, attach this a bit better right here. But for now, that will do. So now that things are all wired up, we'll give it a test. And look, there's the brake light coming on on the top. That's good. Now the brake light's coming on. And then, uh, of course, there's the bottom strip looking a little amber. We'll have to, uh, have to talk about that. Now I replaced this uh, back strip here because the previous one I had was damaged. So, um, what I thought would be, it would be interesting to have one that uh, has amber lights. So, this one does have uh, amber lights. You can see the red ones are on right now. That's just because the, uh, the uh, lights are on. And you can see when we break, now these amber ones come on, which is a bit unexpected. And so, I wasn't really sure uh, why that would be, but then, if you look at the standard uh, trailer hitch that this is wired up to, the turn signals, left and right, are um, the same used as the brake lights. So I got this replacement one. I saw ones that had red, amber, um, and white. You can see them all working right there. So I thought that would be nice since I have the uh, you know amber turn signal bulbs. And so it's great for turning, but of course the end result is that when you break, you get amber as well. So hopefully that's not a problem. I'm not breaking any kind of, uh, of traffic law anywhere. But if you like the amber, you can see the red, amber, and white all together. Again, the reds uh, are going to come on when you just have your lights on. Amber when you put on your turn signal or brake. And then, of course, you have your white for your backup lights, which I do particularly like. So, anyway, amber brake light. But at least I've got the top brake light working as well. And there's the top brake light, and uh, braking and turning, I guess. Okay, 